Right, so um, this video is mainly aimed at Becky, who has uh, inquired about um, violins for her daughter, and uh, this is a selection that might be of interest. Um, I think these are probably going to be the most suitable um, according to uh, the parameters outlined. So, uh, this first one is um, a French violin, £520. It's um, by a firm called JTL. Um, dates from about 1890, 1900. Um, a nice example. It's classed pretty wood etc and a nice deep varnish on it. A um, couple of minor restoration points um, have a hairline crack, a restored crack down here. Um, no, no trouble there, it's very short, it's not going to give any problems. Um, more seriously the head of this has broken off at some point so I um, don't know how that's coming across but there's a, a small crack, well a crack running along there uh, it ran along the back and then up to the A-peg hole there, so there's uh, fresh wood being inserted here. Uh, I did this restoration myself and um, various pins just holding everything secure. So it's a very secure repair. It's pretty much as good as new as far as um, strength is concerned and quite difficult to see repair, so I don't think that's going to give any trouble but of course it does affect the value slightly this, this would be worth more without that. So moving on, this is the second uh, one, this one's at 600. This is a, again a French instrument probably from the same workshop as that. Um, slightly bigger, that's, that's av an average size violin. Um, slightly bigger measured for the length of back but for the actual nut to saddle measurement, um, it's, it's actually the same as that, so really, to all intents and purposes, it's, it's just an average size, but the, that back is um, slightly longer. Uh, it's slightly older, about 1880 this. Um, the antiquing was done when it was made in the workshop, so uh, that's typical of the style of these. Um, but a, a nice instrument, and no restoration issues at all on this. It's good condition. Scruffy, but that's how they, they were supposed to be. Uh, this is the one that I sent pictures of to you. Um, a more refined violin, French again, um, but again we're seeing a really nice wood selection, very rich deep varnish, the sort of shaping at the corners and the f-holes and generally a higher class instrument. Um, nice scroll etc. Um, we have uh, unfortunately a, a fairly long restored crack down there. Um, it's not going to give any problems. Again it's a job I did myself so I'm very happy to guarantee that but uh, it's something to be borne in mind. Also um, just one or two little wormholes uh, here, the, here and there uh, around the periphery of the instrument, but uh, nothing any in any structural area. So a, a good violin, anyway. And finally, there's this one, a little bit more expensive. This one's at uh, 760. So um, I know it's more than you were thinking of, but uh, just as a comparison it might be useful to hear it played. Um, this is French Labert workshop, uh, made in about 1935, so a bit younger than the other ones, but uh, lovely wood selection, and it's the smallest of the instruments as well, which uh, is sort of a small to average size, so it's a nice size for a, a player with uh, perhaps slightly smaller hands. Um, great condition, great violin, so uh, we'll move on to the uh, tone test now.